Yeah, we turn our attention to athletics on this Monday edition of the Sportsman Zone. The inaugural staging of the Jamaica Athletics Invitational Meet lit up the National Stadium in Kingston as a slew of Jamaican secured wins in front of a packed grandstand along with some huge international names impressing on the track. One of the most impressive performances came from Jamaican two-time World Championship 400-meter hurdles bronze medalist Russell Clayton. Clayton clocked a world-leading 53.72 seconds to beat a top-class field. The world leading times would continue as world record holder Toby Amosan of Nigeria produced a blistering 12.40 seconds to win the 100 meter hurdles. Look, I tell you, this is the healthiest, like when I say healthiest I've been, it is pen free season. Yeah, there's pen now and then, boy, compared to other years where I have to like think if I want to compete or not. But I'm just thankful to be out here, just taking one race at a time, no pressure. And coming out to get the win tonight, I miss this amazing feeling. Look, it's an honor. It's a great feeling. In my head, it was just don't drop the gun, just react and go. But you know, I'm not the best of starters, so I try to. I build my race. But we got one to do. We got one to do. And looking at the way I executed today, it could be better. But I'm just thankful. Yeah, Toby Amosan, the world record holder. She won the world title in 2022. That was in Eugene, Oregon. She's also the reigning two-time Commonwealth Games champion. And really, the only thing left for her to win is the Olympic title, which she will be looking to put right this summer in Paris, of course. She is coached by the Jamaican Lucina Golding Clark, who was outstanding hurdler herself and the 2006 Commonwealth Games champion as well. So um, a really good partnership there for Toby Amazon and Lucina Golding Clark. Um, Mariah, it was a wonderful meet. I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed what happened at the National Stadium at the weekend. If there was one disappointment for me, it is that the bleachers was not at capacity because, of course, as we know, it was free to enter the bleachers. All you okay. needed to do was to get a ticket. And my understanding was that um, by the time the meet started, they weren't even, you didn't even need a ticket to get in. If you wanted to get into Just the go. bleachers, um, the security personnel were allowing individuals in. Um, so I am a little bit disappointed that that wasn't at capacity, but it was still a fantastic crowd, very good atmosphere. Although, for me, right, there has been a slight shift this year whenever I go to track and field meets at the National Stadium where I find that the support, I have to be very careful how I say this, right? But I find that the energy is not as sustained as it used to be. Explain. Um, and it was not just at the Invitational Meet this weekend, but I felt the same way when I was at Champs earlier this year as well. Yes, there is energy. Don't get me wrong. There are individuals um, in the venue and there is energy and it's pretty good energy. Um, but when I think about um, 2008, 2009, when I think about the Jamaica Invitational of 2010 or 2011, the Racers Grand Prix of um, 2017, any boys and girls champs event that you want to think about in that period, whenever you have individuals inside the national stadium that the support the energy is sustained i felt like at the end of a race like the crowd would just go flat oh, um, and that's not what i'm accustomed to okay. i'm accustomed to that energy just going all the way through from start to finish so question and what do you think has caused that thing I that you've been know. following for i quite... really don't know i wish i knew but yeah. i really don't know because it's not as if the support is not there Right. So I'm not saying that there are fewer individuals inside the National Stadium because that's not the case. Yeah. Um, the crowds have been pretty good. Um, but hey, maybe it could be, right? Because I think we went through a period at the junior level and at the senior level where the performances were so sensational Correct. that it demanded that type of energy. And when you have seen performances like that, Unless these performances are better... Which is difficult to top those Which is difficult to top those performances, then you don't necessarily have the same feel, right? Because if you saw Usain Bolt yesterday and then you saw me today, 
clearly you're not going to be excited about that. Of it's course. like, okay, I saw you saying, but who are you? Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe that has something to do with it where people are not as easily impressed, even by high quality performances, but because they are not at the level that they are accustomed, are, to. Are accustomed to, then, yeah. There was one energy that I didn't expect to see, she yeah. carry, but I was happy. I think she brought um, a lot of good energy. She appeared really, really happy. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, I was like, you know, she's here to study the performances because <laughs> she means business this year, Ricardo. Yeah, she does. I was wondering as well, why is Shakira Richardson um, in Jamaica for this meet? So, to and, look on. And, and why is she in the bleachers and not the grandstand? And you know, Mariah? I'm wondering if Shakira came here to run and then something happened and prevented her from competing on Saturday. I don't know, but yeah. I found it a little strange that she would just be here just to watch the meet. I, I don't know. I feel like there is some other business that she came on, but no. I'm not 100% sure. But you're right. She brought a real nice energy to it. Um, and it was a, I, I thought it was, I, again, very Shakira like. Um, ending up in the bleachers as opposed to in the grandstand where a lot of individuals would expect for her to be. And it was clear that she received a lot of genuine love over there. Yeah, a lot of people were taking pictures with yes. her. The thing is, she's just a, a person, an individual that, of course, draws a lot of attention to her. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't keep Shakari's name out of any headline, <laughs> any discussion, any talk show, yeah. for example, right now. Yeah. So she shows up, she does things in a different style, yeah. and she becomes a topic. And you know what, Mariah? There's also the possibility that she went to the bleachers because she wanted to lay low. There's that possibility, but it's impossible no, man. for Not Shakira again. Richardson <laughs> to lay low, um, especially in the land of wood and water. And um, in track and field? And no in ways. track and field. So the <laughs> moment... She was spotted and the picture started going out on social media with um, different individuals taking those pictures with her. Um, then, yeah, it had to become a pretty big thing inside the National Stadium. But it was a nice touch and it added um, to the spectacle of the meet as well. I, I thought it was really nice. Yeah, another performance I really loved is Jaden Hibbert. I don't know if I could call him little Jaden Hibbert anymore. <laughs> Because he continues to, of course, impress. He's an athlete. Again, um, Ricardo, when he comes out, it's a spectacle because he's a performer. He is one that I think loves the camera. The camera loves him as well. So just to see him breaking records, doing his thing, it's something that really warms my heart. Yeah, the first thing, right. So on his very first attempt, um, Jaden Ebert is asking the crowd to, to clap. You see? Performer. Um, the crowd starts clapping but they are not doing it right. And Jaden goes, I don't know, hold up. <laughs> this is how we do it. Let's get the rhythm right. Um, and I thought, and, and the crowd was right there with him. Yes. And I thought to myself, yeah, this kid is a real star. There's no doubt about it. And it was a terrific performance, 17.57 meters. That's the best outdoor performance in the world this year. Um, number two in the world this year, when you also add the indoor performances to that. Um, so a terrific performance from him, no doubt about it. And my hope is that he'll stay injury-free and will push on to the Olympic Games and get that Olympic medal. I hope it will be gold, but there's no guarantee because there are a lot of quality jumpers out there returning this year and are expected to do really well. Um, but definitely he has made a terrific start to his campaign, um, winning in Bermuda and again winning here in Kingston. We didn't talk about the Jamaican, Marie-Josie Talou. <laughs> you mean <laughs> she, aunt, loves, aunt, she loves Jamaica. Auntie Marie? She, she loves Jamaica. Yeah, we're going to be talking about um, Marie-Josie Talou in interactive okay, okay. later on. So I'll, I'll save that for that and show you... You stay tuned for interactive when we're talking more about Marija Zatalu. Okay. Break time? I that's what I heard. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Break I didn't time. Talk about Rochelle Clayton and her great performance. But it's